My role is really mixed, so that no two days are ever the same, but fundamentally I guess I'm here to sort of make sure that everybody who's trying to do research doesn't ever notice that there's anything going on in the background. Uh, it doesn't work like that, but <laughs> that's theoretically the idea. It's not just me that works down here in the basement. I think we've got four part-time members of staff and three permanent members of staff plus me. Lots of people probably don't realise and don't ever think about how many services there are in the building and just how complicated it actually is to do science. We have over six different types of water, medical gases, we have vacuum lines, we have incredible like requirements for air handling. It's really different from a normal domestic building or an office. As well as all the services that come into the labs, we also make quite a few waste streams, some of which are quite normal and people will be really familiar with, like recycling and electrical waste, so equipment that has to be disposed of, and some of which are specific to science. So we make biological waste, which would be things like bacterial cultures that have to be disposed of, and we also make some clinical waste, which would be things more like human cell lines that some of the groups work on. I spend a lot of time trying to plan for things that need to be done and making sure that they're not disruptive to people who are trying to do their own work. But in a building this size and with this much complicated stuff going on, we also unsurprisingly have things that we weren't expecting to crop up. So some of what I do is going along to something that's broken down unexpectedly or is leaking unexpectedly um, and trying to deal with that with the help of everybody else down here in the team. Science is great. Brilliant people, they're super logical, they're doing something totally worthwhile that's going to save the world. I'm so nerdy, I could never work anywhere else, I love science. <laughs>